hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is naninga koei thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you so much for clicking on this video so today we're going to do a rasta colors inspired makeup look and the reason i'm doing this video is because in the u.s as we know there's something called black lives matter basically people are being racist towards blacks and I just remember the days when Africa used to be united through song, like in the 90s, through reggae, through whatever. And therefore, this makeup look came up to my mind. I was like, why don't we go back to the days when Rasta colors were a thing? So this makeup look can also serve as um, an Ethiopian flag inspired makeup look. After all, the Ethiopian flag is the one that inspired Rasta colors or reggae colors, basically. So as you can see, we've started off with defining our brows and I'm just using a concealer to define my brows and I'm just brushing out that concealer here using a brush like to blend it into the surrounding skin. And because we want to do bright colors, bold colors like yellow, red and green, we are going to apply a white eyeshadow primer. White eyeshadow primers really, really help when it comes to... Uh, making the colors pop and as you can see i'm taking a bright red color and i'm going to apply this bright red color into the crease of my eye i know in the camera this comes off as a type of fuchsia or pink color but it's actually a red color in real life and i'm just going to apply this red color all over my uh, crease all the way from the inner corner of my crease all the way to the outer corner and I'm just taking this highlighter and I'm applying it on my brow bone just below my brows to highlight that area So for this next step, I'm just taking my concealer and I'm using it to clearly demarcate uh, between the red eyeshadow and the rest of my eyelid where the rest of the colors are going to come in. And I'm just trying to create a straight line over there. I usually find it a bit difficult to create that straight line, but you just have to persevere and make sure that it's straight or somewhat straight. And of course we know rasta colors involve yellow so there's also a yellow line that we're going to create and i'm just taking a yellow um eyeshadow and applying it where i just applied my my uh concealer of course i'm going to leave a space for the green because uh, rasta colors are three it's red yellow and green and in order to demarcate between the yellow and the green, I'm just taking an eye pencil and I'm just using it to draw a line instead of using concealer again. I'm just using this eye pencil to demarcate between the yellow and the green. You can also use an ordinary eyeliner if you have one in green. It will create for you a perfect line better than even the concealer and it will make sure that uh, yeah, there is no um, I don't know, mixing of the colors. And I'm just taking extra yellow and I'm just applying it on top of that um, green eyeshadow. I'm just applying the yellow again on top of that yellow just to make the colors pop more. And I'm just going to take this green that resembles uh, the Rastafari green and I'm just applying it where uh, I demarcated the green. So I'm just applying it and filling it in that space. And I'm taking the red eyeshadow again and I'm just trying to um, clean up that area and I'm adding more on top of that red. Just above the red, uh, I'm adding more red. And I'm just taking some of that highlighter and I'm just going in with my um, brush again and just applying it in the corners of my eyes.
and using the green eyeliner again I'm just going in on my bottom eyelash not eyelash on my bottom eyelid and I'm just applying it on my waterline and also on my bottom eyelid and not only am I applying it on my bottom eyelid I'm also going to wing it out into like um, what is it called an eye a wing yeah yeah a wing <laughs> Now to pick out the fallout from that uh, eyeshadow, I normally just use a beauty blender so I'm picking out the fallout and I'm going to take some mascara. Today I'm not going to do um, eyelashes because I want the colors to be visible. And I'm just taking this mascara and applying it all over my eyelashes and I'm also going to apply it on my bottom eyelashes also. Uh, because this video was more of the eyeshadow that that's what uh, the video was more about it was about the eyeshadow um i've already applied my foundation and i've already applied my concealer not concealer yeah concealer using it as a highlighter of course and i'm just using a, a concealer brush to to blend it all out Here I'm just using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set that concealer. And I'm applying it with a sponge. And as the powder is setting, I'm going to apply the highlighter for my lips. And I'm taking this L'Oreal lipstick that had melted down. It's in another video, I'm going to link that video in the description box, how I melted down that L'Oreal lipstick. There are actually two shades that I melted together to create this shade, although it's a weird shade, but it, it does the job. So, uh, yeah, so this, uh, this is a L'Oreal lipstick, uh, a colorish lipstick. I can't remember the numbers because I tossed away the empty containers. And I'm just applying it using a brush. And using a brush, a powder brush, I'm just removing the excess powder. And now I'm contouring my nose because we need that aquiline nose. Is it called aquiline? I don't know. Straight, sharp nose. And I'm just applying a bronzer shade all over the sides of my nose to create a thin line. Just a thin line should remain in the center. Now on that thin line that I've created, I'm just applying highlighter so that yeah that that place can look sharper a few moments later so guys this is the final look so if you're heading to that reggae concert and you really want something to make everybody's head turn this is the makeup look for you thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video make sure to subscribe and like the video and thank you